Good day, everyone. Quick update on my build. Um, I was putting off buying mind infusion boots because they were so expensive for a long time. And I ended up buying a fiend crown. So I bought a fiend crown using the memory cards because it's often cheaper than uh, buying one outright. So if you are unaware, Go to Int Helmet, Fiend Crown. They're 400 unidentified, which is 100 less than yesterday, which is crazy. Um, you can get one identified, pretty good sealed mana, uh, low minion crit. But anyway, so 400 uh, here. They were 500, I think, when I bought mine. Or you can go down to memory cards and search for Dragon Slayer's notes. And you need eight of these to make a fiend crown. So as long as you are paying less than 50 each, you are saving money because eight by 50 is 400 which is what people are charging for unidentified fiend crowns. So this one is 40. You can just highlight unit price maximum of 40. So we've got one, um, two, there's two more there for less than 40. So that's four, five, six, so you can get 6 for 40. Let's highlight 43. We're going to need 2 more. Which is that. So 2 more. So go to collection. That shows that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Which brings us to a total of 40 plus 40 plus 77. 40, 40, 85. 322. If you bought them with Dragon Slayer's notes, you would save 78 Flame Elementium. Now, if you bought these right now, it would be 322. You could sell it for 400 divided by 8, 50 in tax. Um, so it was 3, 400 minus 50 minus 322. You'd make 28 Flame Elementium after tax profit if you just bought these and sold an unidentified Fiend Crown. Uh, my Fiend Crown was uh, reasonably decent um, crit damage. So it sold 490 Flame Elementium. Uh, another sale that I had overnight was this. Uh, Dark Surge um, gloves with plus one max agility uh, blessing. And positive spell damage. Now these roll a negative 60 to plus 60, negative 80 to plus 80, negative 12 to plus 12. So a pretty huge range. They're uncorrupted, so someone probably just bought these corrupted and uh, bricked them because when you corrupt, you can get a re-roll as one of the options, which just completely destroys it because these uh, might go to negative. Um, so back to the mind fusion boots. Now my slates are garbage, so if I spend a couple of hundred on slates, I'll probably get a lot more damage. Um, the big thing on mind infusion boots is maximum synthetic troop minion quantity plus one, plus one minion skill levels nice as well. Uh, but it's mainly for the plus one max minion. So that essentially makes your minions a seven link because without that, you need to use Maniacal Army, which gives you plus one max synthetic troops. 15% um, double damage, that's nice enough. And attack and cast speed, that's pretty decent for Automoto. Um, but for... Boom Moto, it's 
15% chance to deal double damage. I'd rather 310% crit strike chance. Um, and that upped my damage by 400 million, uh, which is quite substantial. Um, and yeah, so if you're looking at a build order at the moment, um, with the prices coming down, I would suggest farming tier 7 maps until you get a couple of hundred FE. Then I would get a Winter of Origin because these have come down. What? Wow. A lot. Uh, I think I paid 300 for mine. And if you can get one for 40, that's probably... <laughs> that's probably better than what I've got, actually, because mine is just... Wow. 40. Okay, Winter of Origin definitely first. Uh, that'll give you a huge boost in damage. Then I would go for Mind Infusion. Then Warden's Breastpin. Uh, for the Uniques, at least. Um, Fiend Crown is the most expensive. However, my helmet is pretty decent. It's probably one of the best items that I've crafted uh, this season. Um, which is sad, because that's pretty average for last season. Uh, weapons, not bad. But yeah, so I just wanted to do a quick build update. Um, I will create a build guide now that I've got the damage up to a reasonable amount. Um, I'll just highlight all my gear so you can have a, a quick look before I make a build guide. You're basically just getting minion damage and uh, some resistances and max life on your gear bit of crit because wardens is um gives up to 100 percent of your crit strike rating and crit strike damage uh, to your minions unfortunately that doesn't include spell critical strike and spell critical damage because that would be mental um it might include spell for um the auto summon because they're not physical their spell um but that's an entirely <coughs> it's basically an entirely separate class um max res not max erosion which is a shame but that's just because my gear was all um and my old boots had erosion on them and stuff as well so that is the gear my hero traits um, have minion crit strike rating and one or two physical damage to attacks. Um, yep. I'm surprised I don't have hero memory effect. Um, I'll probably try that out. 16% uh, place, player's max life to minion base life and self-destruct. I need three of those. I've got one with 22% minion and self-destruct and 26% minion and self-destruct. So they could be improved. Uh, I'm going to switch between these later and test them out. Um, that's in P. Looking at the skill trees. That'll probably be my next point if I get one. Alchemist. I don't really like Spirit Magus, but it's what I've got for now. Um, slates. So crit, minion life, that's probably my nicest one. Uh, minion damage, max life, sealed. I could probably... I don't think that stacks, so I could probably take that off the tree and get that other minion life. Uh, bit of crit. It's not a great one. Uh, what's that give me? Plus one minion and 30% damage. That's pretty bad. 
this one sealed mana that's pretty much it and this one gives 22% minion damage and some crit so that's not horrible it's not great but it's not horrible um, have I missed anything pack scripts just damage pack scripts Um, now that I've got over 800 million damage, I'll probably convert some of the damage scripts into tank scripts so I can survive tier 8 maps. Uh, I just did a 26,000 beads um, test. So now I am going to buy a bunch of Divinity Slates. And after I've spent all of my 12,000, we'll go through them and see if we get any decent ones. Uh, you can sell these for 330 to 333 to 1. So 12,000 divided by 333. It's 36 flame elements in worth. Hopefully, we only really need to get three or four decent bases to make that back. Be right back. All right, now that we've spent all of those, we'll just lock the good ones. It's interesting that it's tier one, but that's about all that's interesting on it. That seems reasonable, so we'll lock that one. I don't know how sentries go. I'm interested to see how Sentry Moto goes. That's a skill point, effectively. That's interesting. Sealed Mana for Aura skills. <coughs> Physical damage taken. Hmm, maybe. Damage, damage for charge moto. Right again. For every 12. Wait, wasn't this one? Ah, oh, sentry. Crit strike rating for every 12 int. That's interesting enough. I'm hoping for a crit crit, but it doesn't look like we got one. That one's not bad. So we didn't get lucky. Um, we definitely didn't get 36 uh, flame elementium worth, but whatever. They were in my inventory. Um, what else we got? What else? What else? What else? We got 390 flame elementium. I thought we had some. Hmm. I thought I had some um, refund tokens. I guess I already used them. Uh, so I need more. Uh, how many more uh, refund tokens do I need? About tax, sold 2,600 flame elementium. Total revenue, 15,000 of these desire beads were in the first day. Um, it was after they fixed the, um, the hand in. Uh, anyway, let's quickly do a Path of Brave 2. Just to showcase, I did 74 Path of Brave 1s yesterday, uh, just while watching... Weird. While watching Netflix, pretty chill. Uh, I think I got through five episodes of Vinland Saga on uh, Netflix. Pretty interesting show. People call it Farming Simulator, but it's kind of like that in season two season one is very dark very action very fun can't remember what i did 
while watching season one. But I was playing something. Um, nothing like some good violence to just turn your mind off. Do some easy gameplay. I was probably playing Path of Exile. Uh, Diablo 4 is out soon. Um, I'm expecting it to be the biggest letdown of 2023. But I'm going to play it anyway. We'll see how the Sork goes. Sork was reasonably fun in the beta. Um, if anyone's going to play, our guild will be about 50 people. A lot of PvPers. Uh, if you are interested, let me know in the comments and I will get you an invite to the server. If you're at all, you'll probably get removed, but I can get you the invite and then it's up to you to keep your spot, uh, which is fine. Hopefully they add something to the Hunter Association in uh, Torchlight. Ours is almost level 3. Um, it's just a check-in for a free revival token at the moment, which is a bit sad. Uh, but anyway, that's... Oh, I didn't go through the skills. <coughs> that is uh, Path of Brave 2 with getting the new boots. Excuse me. That enabled us to change Maniacal to Crit Strike Rating. It had a little bit better energy on it as well. Um, I have Blink with Magic Dash, so it has two charges and cost conversion, so it costs life. It costs basically nothing. 41, you regen that in like a split second. Resurrection Warcry with Lion's Roar for two more charges. Residue, so it doesn't end at the end of its uh, restoration. And again, cost conversion, so it costs uh, 44 uh, life instead of mana. We have Frost Shield with extended duration and, you guessed it, cost conversion, so it costs life instead of mana. Uh, we have Spirit, uh, Frost Spirit for mana regen with Mark, so it marks the enemy. And Precise Magical Source, which is Mana Regen, and with the talent, it is a Life Regen. We have Fearless, that needs to be Precise Fearless. Um, I'm amazed that I don't have Precise. Uh, precise Weapon Amplification, uh, Selfless, because we don't need to uh, benefit and restrain. I only just bought this. These were like... Um, 120 flame elementium last time I looked and I got this one for 39 so that is a bargain it's good to see the price of everything coming down why is that deactivated um, <laughs> wow that's sad uh, anyway precise auto defense delayed pain is insane um, splits up your hit into four seconds cooldown rec Production and protection field. So that is the build. That is a bit of a showcase. Uh, heartbeat battle. Do your heartbeat battle every day. Super easy. And you get insane rewards. Extra flame elementium or hero emblems. Hero emblems are huge. Um, where is it? Shop. Hero shop. So you can unlock a hero for free. Um, 100. I've got 125. I could unlock one of these, uh, but I'm not uh, going to. I bought a few characters last season that I didn't end up playing. Um, but yeah. So that is all I've got. Another long video. I'm starting to crap on a bit much in these, but that's what I have. And uh, thanks for watching.